Hello, this is Scott with Cochrane Tech Services. This video is about setting up Niagara to Niagara station communications and avoiding you being surprised by the bouncy castle error just like this kid was. So, the way we begin this is currently I already have my two stations running and I'm talking through it to these stations. I mean through my Vicon branded workplace. I'm using Niagara 4.13. I'm going to start at my JACE. It doesn't matter if you start at the supervisor. The process is the same. It's totally reflected. So under my station of my JACE, I want to talk to the supervisor. Because that's a Niagara station, I'm going to use my Niagara network to talk to it. Under config of my JACE and under drivers, I have my Niagara network. And if we, if we were on the same LAN, we could use Discover. Typically, our JACES and supervisors are not on the same local area network. So I'm going to click this new button. That discover button would work if we didn't have to go through a router, by the way. But best practice says use the new button. Click the new button and click OK. I'm going to add a Niagara station. A couple really important things here. We need the correct name of that station. We need proper credentials. And we need a host name or IP address. Those have to be correct. So the name of my station I want to talk to is named N4 Supervisor. Its IP address is handy enough in my nav tree. And I also have credentials. Now I'm using specific machine to machine credentials because if I didn't have dedicated machine to machine credentials, it would look like Bill or Bob, whatever username was in here, was making changes at the JACE when really it was whoever was logged into the supervisor. So I'll click OK. Oh, everything's fine and dandy. Yeah, it's not, unfortunately. If I were to right click my N4 supervisor, hover over actions and ping that supervisor, it's gonna go to a status of down and even be in fault. This orange color here, it's one of those status colors in Niagara and it means fault. So how do we fix it? Well, let's left click that word health here and let's see what it says. Oh, that, that's our bouncy castle error. That's where our kid gets surprised, and this is how we fix it. The error and the fault exists at my cool station for Jace, that station that's running on my Jace 8000. So that's where I'm going to have to resolve this error. I need to go to the cert manager service. And if you remember, any time I say the word service, it's going to be under our services container. Under that services container, it's a little bit buried under our platform services, but under platform services, there is a cert manager service. If I double click that, we're going to have a new view with four different tabs. So what the JACE did says, hey, is the certificate from the supervisor signed by somebody in my system trust store? No. Was it signed by something some user allowed me to trust? No, it wasn't signed by anybody. So our last resort is allowed hosts where we need human intervention. I'm going to right click this certificate that came from that supervisor and approve it. It's asking me if I'm sure. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll click yes. And now I can go back to my Niagara network. I'm going to go ping that supervisor one more time and it should no longer be orange. There it is. Health says OK. Now we're talking. You have officially corrected that bouncy castle error. Congratulations. Like and subscribe for more. You guys did great. Better yet. Oh, I get it. Take care.